guys welcome back to the page and today we're going to be kicking up a notch for those of you guys that have dormant bermuda we're going to wake it up and for those of you guys that have overseeded with perennial ryegrass i'm going to show you how to burn that out and get that bermuda grass going and today we'll be using the rgs from the next uh fertility line it's green county ferts um, product and I also have a bag of ammonium sulfate 2100 that's going to be a big source of nitrogen and we're going to get your lawn to that nice AZ lawn stick around anytime you're dealing with ammonium sulfate you have the potential to burn your lawn so that's why I use a food scale to weigh all of my fertilizers this bag of ammonium sulfate is 2100, meaning that 21% of the contents in the bag is nitrogen. So my goal is to apply one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet on my lawn. My lawn is 2,000 square feet, so I'll be putting down 10 pounds of fertilizer. Since I've seen small bits of fertilizer clumped up together, I'm going to take my shovel and just break up those pieces up so that way I can have an even distribution of the fertilizer. some water and if for those of you guys have used some products and tend to spill uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, watering the concrete just in case you you like to spill before mixing RGS let's talk about application rates you can apply at a minimum of three ounces per 1,000 square feet and a maximum rate of six ounces per 1,000 square feet. Also, you do not want to apply with less than a seven to one uh, dilution with water. So you're probably wondering what RGS is. RGS has uh, humic acid and fulvic acid, and what those two are are chelators, meaning um, they'll help release nutrients that are locked in the soil uh, and make them more readily, readily available for the plant and then the seed kelp extract what that'll do is that's going to help your root and to make it um, grow faster uh, more robust so that way it'll be able to withstand uh, environmental stressors like heat or any type of disease
Now that you're done, it's critical that you water this application thoroughly. All right, guys, it's actually been a few days since I applied the ammonium sulfate and the uh, RGS. And usually about this time, you're going to actually experience a uh, growth surge in the lawn. And this is about the best time to keep actually your height of cut low. So that way you'll actually produce, you'll actually promote the marina grass to uh, grow laterally and to fill all those uh, bare areas or weakened areas where the perennial ryegrass had taken a hold of the lawn. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.